Good morning. Welcome back to the show. I'm so glad that you're joining us for this particular segment where I want to talk about Miss Malkia in detail. Now, if you're wondering if there are any auditions coming to your county, we have the founder and CEO of Miss Malkia with us. If you have any questions on how to compete, uh, when to actually start, you know, auditioning, how to come in, what is expected of you. And also, I'm also thinking of the person who wants to start their own pageant. And they're thinking, these are so glorified. Can I even be given attention by Kenyans if I start? You'll get to hear from somebody who started solo and what his inspiration was and just his journey. So come on board. Thank you for joining us. Good morning, Caleb. Good morning, too. How are you? I'm good. It's good to have you. I'm, I'm happy to be here as well. Is this your own maid? Yes. Yeah, but so. Thank you. I told you guys. So, <laughs> uh, we don't want to talk about your fashion design, though. We want to talk about Miss Malkia. Exactly. And I'm thinking you're a man. Yes. A lot of guys feel like, why would a man start a beauty pageant? Pendant. I mean, and then want to empower women. Yeah, a lot yes. of men are, most, I didn't say all men, majority of men don't understand women empowerment. Okay. And they only feel it's anti, you know, uh, the man power. Sure. So, what was the inspiration behind your, you know, your initiative? Okay. <laughs> Um, first of all, I mean, that question I had someone ask me last night, uh, you're a man, why women empowerment? And I laughed, you know, but I guess it's because I see things differently and people miss a lot. Like, let's say for me, the past 11 years of my life, I've been under the mentorship of a woman, a great, a great woman. She's held my hand along the way. She's um, Bishop Flora Vihenda. She's my spiritual mom, my mom, my current mom, you know. <laughs> yes, I have a biological mom, but you know, there's a time where um, as a young person, you leave your parents mm -hmm. and then you go out there to the world, you know. So while I was at that stage, I've left home, I've finished school mm -hmm. and I'm out there trying to figure life of my own and uh, I, was, I was pretty messed up. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You've, <laughs> yeah. Had, a, you've had a story. You yes. A story, and yeah. um, when I met her, she she took me in the way I am, you know, with my scars. She, she still saw that there's something great about me that if worked on, it can turn out to be something, mm -hmm. you know. And uh, she's held my hand all along the way. Mm -hmm. And I can proudly see that where I am today, uh, it's all thanks to Bishop Flora Vihenda. Like, uh, I won't lie. Mm -hmm. uh, I won't give credit to anyone else yes. because she has shown, she has, she has practically seen my flaws. Mm -hmm. uh, she has seen my breaking points. Like, uh, she's been my best friend. Wow, that's deep, you all. That's deep. That's a yeah. way to start. And what he's trying to articulate here is that him standing here is because of a woman who believed in him. So he thought. Is it? Am I interpreting this correctly? Yes. Why not also hold the hands of different other women? Sure. Because through them, other men can also, can also be, be nice. All right. So now we have heard the, the you know the inspiration behind Miss Malakia because a lot of guys were curious. They're like, <laughs> when we see when we see men, they just want to make money. <laughs> That's different for you. Yeah. So how are you going to empower these girls? Okay. Now. During our program, we have training sessions, like uh, we call speakers in to speak to them. You're welcome, by the way, to empower them in uh, different areas of their lives. And uh, just we're trying to, like she said earlier, to give them power. Okay. And, you know, everyone wants power, but power is good. Mm -hmm. But if you don't have the wisdom to work with it, then... Okay it will destroy you. Mm. Like in our age and time, we've been given a lot of outlets that gives us the power to detect what we want in life. Like media per se, yeah. like you here on this show, you have a certain power that many people don't have out there. Mm -hmm. So how you choose to use that power matters a lot. Mm. And that's what we're trying to do is to empower them that um, as they go out there back in their communities, they can take what they have and mm. turn it into something positive yeah. because it's easy <clears throat> for her as a lady or yeah. as a young lady to take what she has or maybe use the power that is the beauty she has to go on TikTok and enter entertainment, you know, so, but it can be different. It doesn't have to be that way. Mm -hmm. You know, people will bash me for this, but uh, our agent time is messed up. I've been seeing this, uh, this crate challenge and all that. Yeah. And I look at it from a different angle. I'm like, to a point where people are willing to risk their lives mm. just to entertain people. Like, 
if uh, if I'm not wrong, then, then it's just some spiritual control things that wow. you can't say. And, <laughs> and also, if you're not wrong, if you're not wrong, what are you trying? What you're trying to say is probably women have the power of their attractiveness and their body, yes. but they use it more to entertain. So we are being objectified more from what you definitely, see as a man. Definitely, definitely. In terms of misusing our power. Yes. So you started to actually mold that into something else. Yes. Wow, okay. So I'm, I'm, I'm now curious because you're saying the activities. We'll go deeper into which activities these are just sure. besides the bringing in people to talk. Um, you've done auditions in Nairobi. Yes, we have. And we've seen that you might not go to the entire country, but most of the counties. Counties. I've seen posters of some counties you're targeting this September. Yeah. What is the lineup like? For the auditions of different counties. Okay, like this Saturday will be Nakuru. Personally, I'll be there. Okay. So we'll be auditioning for Miss Malkia Nakuru, which is 4th of September. So if there's anyone out there who wants to show up or turn up, you're welcome. And uh, like we said, we basically do not just focus on the, the normal model's requirements like height. And uh, of course, there's that part we need to emphasize on as a beauty pageant. But again, we are looking at what do you have as a person that you can give back to the community you know uh, it's so it's not it's not just about the beauty it's not about just the crowning okay. i mean everyone can have a crown i can i can decide i want to be a king today and crown myself <laughs> you are a king <laughs> what, what can i give the people you know yes. so like uh, that's what we are looking at people who can bring a change because uh, like i say i can't be everywhere to do that okay. and uh, as i was brought up uh, and i'm mentored by a very powerful woman i would like also other women to be empowered because i'm envisioning like uh if we have a um, hundred or thousands of women like her out there all boys out there will be self like me because wow okay yeah. okay i hope yeah. men are watching all yeah. those who are always saying anki we don't follow your show because today is the man saying yeah understand so now we're going to nakuru where nakuru, else are we going and then we're going to kisumu on uh -huh. 18th Mm -hmm. Turkana still on the 18th of September mm -hmm. and Kajiado on the 18th of September as well. These are our top four for now. Yes. Do you? Uh, how many counties do you? Ex uh, how many counties do you oh, expect? We are looking at about ten. Oh, about ten for a start because yes. Miss Malki is pretty young, is it? Yes. How old? Uh, this is our first edition. Mm -hmm. Of course, I've done pageantry before, okay. but uh, to take this angle, it's the first edition with Miss Malkia. So, yeah. Awesome. So if you are a contestant in this one, like Binti Ali Juma, Pioneer, we salute you. And if you're watching back at home, all the contestants, I wish you all the best. Now, um, you have, what is the vision? You've talked about the vision as well. And of course, we're looking at the finals and actually crowning this. We've talked about the auditions and so guys will be following, but how where when do we plan on having the finals okay like for nairobi we have our finals on october 30th okay. uh, that is when we'll be crowning not just nairobi miss nairobi and miss kiambu like um she said we had uh at the auditions there were about 80 or, or more and we picked 44 which is half nairobi half kiambu so like 21 to 22 22 mm -hmm. so from those we'll crown miss nairobi and miss kiambu okay yeah for for nairobi is when we like wish you about the final dates and then after all the competitions happen we will have miss malkia kenyan where oh. like where all winners will come together to compete for miss malkia kenya nice yeah. so before we even go further we're looking at all these things and if we watch miss universe miss uh earth miss environment now miss world these things look pretty expensive to fund yeah. and i'm here curious just like the viewer is how do you get your finances to actually support all these girls? The boot camps also. Yeah. I know they eat. They're probably you know taken care of in so many other ways. How are you financing your initiative? Okay, personally, uh, I have support from friends okay. and uh, some people who are on board who would want to be mentioned. Okay. But again, in our program, there's a different thing that we do. Is like we we do like the girls come with the projects. We have initiatives like charity, like we say we support education you know so by that how we are raising funds for supporting like especially the girl child education and maybe mm -hmm. someone in the community that we can reach out to during the competitions we have votings and these votings are charged like uh, one vote costs 20 shillings okay but that fund is specifically used to support the initiative in terms of uh, the girl child education and all that all so right. the girls come up with a project and then we sponsor it 
And yet. that's part of empowering them. I was going to ask you how you empower them again, but yes. you said within that competition, they yes. bring, they come up with projects, so yes. they are responsible and accountable yes. to ensure those projects actually come to pass and actually are successful. That's nice. Yeah. Um, now, what is the role of the queen? Finally, because Miss Malkia is already a queen. Yeah, sure. What do we expect? Okay, from her? Um, and that's also a point where I choose the name Miss Malkia, um, a queen already. Mm -hmm. So that, uh, I mean, we, we're trying to portray a picture where all girls should know that they are queens, you know. So. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Every girl deserves to feel like a star. Yeah. Now I know you are. Go shout out Saudi Soul. So every girl deserves to feel like a queen. Yeah. All right. Did so, I interject you too long? Ah, no, Sorry. No, you're good. All right. So yeah. you, this is where you come up with the name queen. Yeah. So they are all queens. So whoever wins just stands out to be a better queen. <laughs> oh, yeah. so you don't get less of a queen. Yes. Just adjust your crowd. Yes. But you become a better queen. Yes. Well, I'm inspired this morning. If you're feeling the same vibe, uh, Angel Kaden, Emma, from wherever you're watching, um, I keep forgetting her name. She's a beauty. She's in studio right now. How are you feeling about being told you are a queen? You can just be a better queen and nothing less. Amazing. Talk to me on Facebook, KUTV Kenya. There's a link there. And now, uh, what happens to other contestants who are not queen? Okay, who are queens but not the Miss Malkia okay. after the after the whole thing? Okay, after that, we encourage them to pursue the projects they came in to the program with. And we offer our support where we can. Like we, we, you know, the training we give them is something we are also investing in. You okay. know, you will come, you will invest your time. So we don't expect just because they didn't win, they should just go about not being queens like we meant them to be. So we expect them to still go back in the society and be different and make a change. Mm -hmm. And so that is why we invest in empowering them because we it's all about the change we want nice. and one person cannot bring that change so all of them play a part so whether you win whether you don't win you still are entitled to uh, to do what you're supposed to do to empower okay. your other women in society and bring like about a change that. so do you keep tabs are you gonna keep yeah, you know are you gonna definitely keep we, will, we, will, we will follow up we will yeah. keep tabs with them and uh see their progress because we want one day to see uh, for example, Binti Ali, she's the, I say, uh, women rep of Nairobi, okay. and we we can be proudly we can proudly say that she was a product of Miss Malkia. So nice. we want to see their journey to mm -hmm. greatness. Yeah. Beautiful. I'm about to ask you um, some questions that are pretty much common. People feel like, okay, Anki, we know you're going to ask that, but people have started initiatives yeah. and then stopped at one. What's the prospect? For Miss Malkia, do we expect more episodes of this, or is this just this first one? And you're like, okay, the number of girls are empowered are enough. I know we definitely are looking at. Uh, personally, I'm looking at going a long way with it. Okay. Uh, Miss Malkia initiative is beyond me, so I expect if I'm not there, someone else to pick it okay. and going because it's about the community and it does not change today. Uh, it's a process. It's a journey. So if you do it once and leave, then you've not finished the job. So it's something that has to keep on going. Yeah. This is different. This is beautiful. He says even if it's not him, someone else can pick it up. But let's just make sure that it is a continuation to empower as many women as possible. Do you think we can? I can start a pageant for the guys. Oh, wait, is there is there a handsome pageant? Yeah, there are pageants for guys. You can. There, oh yeah. There are. So what age group are you dealing with in Miss Malkia? Miss Malkia, we do ladies alone. Yeah. Uh, we from 18 to 28. 18 to 28. So they are they are legible, eligible. If you're between that age, please reach out. How do they reach out? How do they? I don't know. How 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 can they join? Okay. Yeah. Uh, they can go to our website. By the way, we also have Little Miss Malkia that oh. we are working on. Like in Nakuru, we are doing both Miss mm. Malkia and Little Miss Malkia. Yeah. And that's for girls from about six. Oh. 14 there. Okay. So, because you see, we, we looked at it like uh, we're trying to empower all women. Mm -hmm. And if we can also start from the younger ones, even better, because yes. we will have less work to do when they grow up to become adults. So, yeah. yes. And actually, Binti Ali mentioned that the self esteem of yeah. a woman is kind of, you know, hot. At that young age, so I think you're in line with her vision and with yes. her thoughts as well. Yes. Yeah. I think that's really amazing. Now, um, somebody like myself, like I said, could I start a pageant for the guys? Is thinking, how do I start? You know, sometimes Kenyans can reject, but 
your you know initiative you're scared of the reception how did you put yourself to just say together and just said i'm gonna start okay how do you start something like this do oh. you create publicity do you ask for help first do you, how do you put it together <laughs> Okay, I think first you need a courage, but for me it was a bit different. Um, I have a friend from Ghana in 2015, I was there, and he does pageants. Okay. And so he invited me over as a stylist for the pageant. Okay. And uh, there, he's like, he's my mentor, and uh, he, he showed me the way, you know. So from him, I picked a lot of things. But generally, basically, what I learned is that if you want to do something, just do it. Like, it's not so hard over thought to give that you, how you will go about it. But if you want to do it, just go out there and say, I want to do it. Because even like me, this year, I was kind of skeptic if I want to start it. But I have friends who told me, you know what, bro, you can do it. So we are behind you. Nice. So I guess you need people and you need the courage. You need people and you need the courage, not just people pushing it. You can take a donkey, yeah. a donkey to a lake, but you can't force it. Yeah. So you need people, but you need the courage and you need the inspiration. Now, do you know what Bosha Maxine? Yes, I do know her. You do? Yes. Is she doing her best in her power to use her power correctly? Um, I think yes. Yes. But I feel like you can always do more. You can always do more. I yeah. like that. Be a better queen. There's no way behind it. Yeah. Um, so, she does something in the podcast saying, um, um, you know, a letter to my younger self. Yeah. So, if you, before she comes on set, because she's coming in after you, yeah. were to say three words to your younger self. Because what you're doing is amazing. You said you have a story, you've walked yeah. a journey, and you told yourself, though you were skeptical this time, you're like, I'll just do what I have to do. Now look at the younger Caleb. Choose the age you want. Three words to your younger self. Um, I'd say you are great. Those, oh, you are great are three words. <laughs> I mean, that's what I was told to believe that I can be. You know, like I said, my, my spiritual mom, Bishop Flora, she saw me and she told me that you're going to be a great person. Did you see that at the time? No, I didn't see. I was messed up. I was like, I, I, I didn't see any future in life. You know, yeah. I was just trying to figure out life and all that. But she saw it, you know. So that's what I can tell a younger version of myself, that wherever you are, whoever you are, what you're doing, mm -hmm. just know that there's something that if someone can see it through you, you know, you might not see yourself, but somebody mm -hmm. else can see it through mm -hmm. you, that you are great. You have the potential. Beautiful. You just need the right channels to bring it out. So I know there are a lot of youth who are watching this morning, and to Caleb, he told himself, his younger self today, what he didn't see then, it is people who are seeing that you are great. How many of us are watching back at home and they are doubting things that people are telling them like Anki in the future in the near future I see you doing your own thing or I'm seeing you internationally on screen and I go like Ay! <laughs> so what are you going through as a young person what would you tell your younger self I have a big question <clears throat> for you this morning and I'm going to have that rolling on your screen in a bit. I know my team is a bit busy behind here but I will send you a big question and the question is what would you tell your younger self? Are you proud of your younger self? Are you going to ask me if I'm proud of my younger self? Well, are you proud of your younger you self? You see what men do? <laughs> ladies, I know you are like, ah, we knew she'd just ask you because you wanted him to ask you. You see, that's what we ladies say. I know. When you tell him, you don't say I love you. Hi, babe, I love you. <laughs> you don't even apologize. I'm sorry, boss. So anyway, that's just on a light note. Thank you so much for being part of the show. You're welcome. Thank you. We're looking forward to Miss Malkia. Awesome. And when we get the queen, are they going to come? Or is she going to come? Definitely. Do you also have fast runners up? It's just a standard. Yeah, yeah we like have. Any other beauty yeah, pageant. like it's 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 a, a standard beauty pageant, like any other. Uh, no different to Miss Wa, no different mm -hmm. to Miss Tourism. Mm -hmm. It's it's a beauty pageant. Nice. Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna look for uh, the feedback real quick because I'm sure there are guys who have sent in some feedback here uh, in a bit. But of course, just to give a shout out to a few people, let me see. Dr. Amari, I'm saying loving every bit of the show. Cool Junior, watch cool. Okay. Beautiful, her ladies, when you were, of course, cut walking. I think I did it correctly. Uh, 
Binti Ali Juma. They didn't vote. They didn't vote. <laughs> please vote. <laughs> uh, please, uh, my producer is called Bonio Tieno, and I can tell you he can exaggerate in my ear. Uh, Jeremiah Washira, I want to be a model when I grow up. Jeremiah, you see, I'm asking for Jeremiah. And of course, um, Tutu Amari, I'm saying, what? I thought pageants were for ants. <laughs> Anki Doris, now you want to start pageants for men? <laughs> Marcy Jules, tuned in um, to the most lit show ever. Thank you so much. I love you all. Allow me to release Caleb. And of course, reach him out on which social media platforms for anything. Google ideas. How do uh, they reach you? Okay, for for my career as a designer you can reach me out at paper stitch africa uh instagram paper stitch underscore africa mm -hmm. uh, facebook paper stitch africa and then uh miss malkia miss malkia at miss malkia instagram miss malkia facebook and our website www.missmalkia.com my handles are at kali juma both instagram and facebook Wow, I hope they heard that right. So guys, thank you so much for being part of this and being supportive to the women at Miss Malkir. I'm looking forward to meeting you guys on those pages here and there, commenting and supporting those contestants. But until then, what would you tell your younger self? A new podcast now, getting us all challenged and choosing us to challenge ourselves in a big and mighty way by the one Wabosha Maxine, and she's coming in in a bit. So sit back and let's choose to challenge. Good morning.